Welcome to Object Oriented Design. This is part two, our video two. What is inheritance? With object oriented programming, you never want to start from scratch. Opening an editor window and typing in all the code yourself is bad. Very bad. What we want is to start with something that exists and build on top of it. That's inheritance. A non-computer example of inheritance is building a tow truck. Option one for my new tow truck is to buy an engine, a transmission, a chassis, a tow harness, and many, many more parts to assemble the tow truck from scratch, piece by piece. Option two for my tow truck is to go down to the Ford dealer and buy a big F-350 pickup truck, bolt or weld on a tow harness to the bed, and voila! A new tow truck. That's inheritance. Creating a new tow truck from the existing pickup truck. Programming with inheritance is the same. When I want to write a new class slash object, if I can find an existing class that does 80% of what I need, inherit from that class, and I only need to write the remaining 20% of the code. Back to game design. A lane game has two or three characters you battle with, and they are the same level after boring level. A cool game mixes it up. Each level brings exciting new and different enemies to battle. In order to create many new evildoers, we use inheritance. Take the class enemy, created in a previous lesson, and build your new characters on top of it. So a class trooper inherits from an enemy. A class mutant inherits from an enemy. A class zombie inherits from enemy. Each new character that we create will be created out of the existing class enemy that we built before. The dictionary definition of inheritance is the ability to create new classes from an existing class. The new class inherits the variables and methods of the existing class and may slash should add new variables and methods. When the class mutant inherits enemy, per the definition, mutant will acquire the variables like x and y position and methods like move position and fire weapon. Mutant should then add new methods and variables to customize the object, make it more mutant-like. It's an important component of inheritance that the new class add new functionality to the class it inherits from. Much of the problem with understanding inheritance is once again different terms are used to describe the classes. When a class zombie inherits enemies, the terms are the existing class enemy and the new class is zombie. So we call enemy the superclass and zombie the subclass that was created from enemy. Another set of terms is base and derived. Enemy would be the base class and derived would be the new class zombie. Another set of terms is parent. Enemy would be the parent class used to create the child class zombie. These three sets of terms are confusing, but depending on what book you read, you need to learn all three sets of terms. Just don't mix and match the term. All right? Parent goes with child. The Java languages use the term super and subclass to describe inheritance. I prefer the terms parent and child because they match the term inheritance. We all understand a child inherits things like hair and eye color from a parent. Much like the zombie class, the child inherits variables and methods from enemy, the parent class. How do you design a parent class like enemy? All the common or shared variables and methods belong in the parent class. All enemies, zombies, mutants, droids, everything needs an X and Y position. They all need a fire weapon method. Put everything that is common in the parent class. If it is a variable or method that all enemy characters will use or share, place it in the parent class. How do you properly design a child class like zombie? Put the unique 
are specific variables and methods in the child class. For example, kill a mutant or droid, it stays dead. But a zombie object will pop back, uh, pop back up after a short delay when blasted. Any variable or method used to reanimate a zombie should be in the child class. Since this behavior is unique to the zombie, code, variables, and methods that reanimate the zombie should always go in the child class. Code reuse. The whole point of using inheritance is code reuse. We do not want to create the same variables and write the same code over and over and over. If we create 20 different enemy characters for our video game, we do not want to have to create 20 X and Y position variables. We want to create the variables once in the parent class enemy and have all the child classes, zombies, robots, mutants, etc., inherit the X and Y position variables. Without inheritance, each and every enemy character class would have to create their own X and Y position variable. With inheritance, you do it once and it applies to all 20 classes you create. Back to game design. When a zombie character is blasted, it crumbles to the floor, but after a certain delay, it springs back up and continues to annoy you like only a zombie can. Some will pop up after 10 seconds, some after 100 seconds, so we need a variable wait time. We will need a method back to life that reanimates the zombie after the variable wait time is elapsed. These are specific to zombies. They are in the child class. They only apply to zombies, so that is the type of code that goes in the zombie class. Other things that would go into the child classes would things like a bitmap image. Each and every enemy character we create would have its own image. I'd store that image in the child class. Recall the enemy class that zombie inherits. Here's a repeat of its UML diagram. The class zombie that inherits enemy will acquire all those variables and methods and add its own. Here is a new UML diagram of zombie and color coded. In blue, you'll see what's inherited from the parent class enemy. In red, you'll see what the zombie class has added to it. Put them together, combine them, and you get the zombie object. When we create a zombie object in the program, object equals new zombie, that zombie object is created and it will have the variables and methods from both classes, zombie the child class and enemy the parent class. That is inheritance. When you create 19 more evil characters, also have them inherit from enemy and only add the code that makes them different. That is code reuse. That is inheritance.